property viewers welcome to another property tour today we are in the garden parish of jamaica and it is also the largest parish in the country if you guessed saint anne you're indeed correct here we will be looking at the Chipnam Park Great House. This is a 6,000 square feet house that sits on 22 acres of land in Bamboo, St. Anne, Jamaica. It features three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and an office. The asking price for this property is $1,275,000 US dollars. It includes furniture, appliances, and standby generator. Additionally, we will be looking at lots for sale. The sizes range from 14.2 acres to 257 acres of land. I want to thank Karen Otar for inviting us to view our incredible listing. And thank you, property viewers, for joining us on this tour. Please remember to like this video, leave us a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Now let's take a look at this magnificent property. So guys, I must point out to you before we go inside how beautiful this portion of the property is. The entire property is absolutely spectacular. Just take a look at the ivy covering the exterior of the home. We have these beautiful plants in our garden area. We also are surrounded by some mature trees and it provides us with a lot of cool breeze and it just caused the area to feel very light and windy around this side we have our zarza grass here and we also have the ivy plants on the exterior walls as well let's take a look at how beautiful these floors are okay guys so let's go on the inside to take in this spectacular home so upon entering, you realize that we have the travertine on the floor and we have this beautiful entryway to the home. We also have the travertine here as well. Now, right off our patio, we enter into our formal dining area. here you will see hints of Georgian architectural design I must point out to you this fireplace 
and this beautiful mantle that we have here and also I want you to take a look at the dome ceiling if you take a look at the floor you realize that we have solid hardwood floors and you realize that we have a lot of wood finishes inside here now we're going to take a look at our first bedroom but before we do I just want to highlight these built-ins that you will find in this space so now we're in our first bedroom and you see that it fits twin beds inside here we have high ceilings we have this window that gives us a beautiful view of our community and we have our ensuite right off our bedroom I must highlight how much I appreciate the built-ins inside this home here we have our shower stall and you'll find that our bathroom is very spacious we have our granite countertop on our vanity and next to it we have our closet okay so now we're going to look at another bedroom so we're crossing this sitting area and we're in our second bedroom and you'll see that it is very similar to the first bedroom that we looked at and I must point out to you the view that we get from this window right here it's really nice we have our crown moldings above us and our base boards below you'll also see that the hardwood continues inside this bedroom this is the ensuite and we have a spacious shower and we also have our toilet and our pedestal vanity look to the corner there you'll see that we have some shelves this is a really nice ensuite now we're going to be looking at the master suite the primary suite of this home and here we are here we have our primary bedroom suite we have our ensuite and to my right there we have a closet space but before we look at either of them I want you to take note of the solid hardwood floors that we have now property viewers this property was built in 1794 and as you can see even though this property has seen at least four generations it is still nicely kept I mentioned earlier that you will find bits and pieces of Georgian architectural style in here and I must say to you that the current owner is a member of the Georgian society all right so here is the ensuite bathroom it is spacious we have double sink vanity inside here and we have a lot of cupboard space for storage I really do appreciate these cubbies that we have here and we have our glass enclosure shower stall we also have recessed lighting and around this section of the bathroom we have really good storage space so here we have two closets and there is another one 
and my absolute favorite thing about this bathroom is that we have this huge window that overlooks the front yard okay guys let us all head back to the main area okay so now we're going to this sitting space I want you to take notice of how grand this entryway is take a look at the fan light that we have above the door this allows for a lot of natural light to come inside the house and we to either side of the doorway we have these windows and they allow the natural light and the natural air to flow as well you see these double doors here and we have this grand entrance to our home this space really nice you see that we have additional um, fan lights above and that helps with uh, lighting inside here this space is a good space to utilize as a sitting area and just entertain your guests have good conversations and just relax guys let us all head to the patio of this lovely home and as I said earlier, this is a British inspired home with hints of Georgian architectural style. And if you look above us, you'll see the lattice on this patio. And we have this beautiful walkout. And I must say to you that because of the elevation that we are at, the wind here is so cool and light. We are approximately 3,000 feet above sea level. Just look at that breathtaking view that is ahead of us. With views like these, anyone who lives here will feel like royalty. You will also be inspired by how beautiful this property is. Oh, I must point out to you as well that this property right there, the bungalow, it comes with the property. We will take a look at it later on. Let's head back inside. So now we're heading to another sitting area and it is right off our main dining living area so here we have our sitting area and as you can see here on the floor we have some more travertine tiles and this right here is our half bath we have our vanity our toilet and it's very spacious now I'm going to show you the office space on our way to the office here we have some built-in closet space for storage and you see that the travertine continues throughout this space we have our high ceilings vaulted ceilings and our recessed lights this is a huge space to utilize as a workspace. We have additional storage behind here. And right off our office space, we have access to the helpers quarters. However, we're going to look at this section a little bit later. I want to show you my favorite part of this home. Watch your step property viewers. Here we have these lovely built-in storage right here. And we once again have our dark wood floors, our vaulted ceiling, and welcome to the kitchen.
So guys, here we have our built-in cabinets. We have our space for our refrigerator. We have our Viking oven. We have our granite countertops with upper and lower cabinets. Ample space to cook up a storm inside here. We have our Viking stove top and our range. And look at this island here. This is a lot of space and we have a lot of storage as well. My favorite thing about this kitchen, separate and apart from the layout and how beautiful it is, is the view that we get of the garden and the surrounding mountains. So now I want to show you this space that you may utilize as a dining area as well. Another lovely feature about this space that was added by the current owner is you get to walk right out of your kitchen dining area into this beautiful garden. Let's head back inside guys. So now we're going to head down this passage and to my right is additional storage space and now we're entering our double carport. So we have our covered carport and as you can see it can fit multiple vehicles. I was saying to you earlier the Elpa's quarters is right off the office space and here we also have access to the Elpa's quarters from the carport. So here we have another kitchen and comes with a lot of storage, upper and lower storage or sinks and come with me this way. This right here is additional storage and we also have our laundry area right here now come with me and i will show you the helpers quarters okay guys now we're going to head back outside and i'm going to show you some other really interesting features about this property. Look how beautiful the lawn is. Really lovely lawn. Beautiful plants. Here we have our generator. And here we have additional storage so we have a lot of storage now we are at the back of the property and if you look to my left right here we have our dog kennel look at the ivies <laughs> all right guys now we're heading to the bungalow we have down here a self-contained unit and we're going to look at it. But before we do that, I want to show you our one million gallon water reservoir. So this doorway is right off the sitting area that we were talking about earlier. And here we have our backup water supply system. So 
So let's head down to our self-contained unit. Here we have some corn ice on this building right here. Not a Georgian feature. And welcome to our self-contained unit, guys. So guys, upon entering, my attention is drawn to this limestone wall right here. It's the exposed stones for me. They are really beautiful. And take a look at the ceiling. We have these exposed beams, really nice, and it flows into our kitchenette. If you take a look on the floor, we have the dark stained wood beneath us. Here we have our kitchenette, we have our double sinks, and we have our window right above them. We have our granite countertops with upper and lower cabinets, a lot of storage, and it's really tastefully designed. We can put our stove there and our refrigerator here. Really good floor plan. Now we're heading back into our living space and right off our living space we have our bedroom. So we have this huge space that you may utilize as your bedroom. We have this high ceiling, our two windows right there, beautiful ceiling fan and the beams that we have above us, the details is really nice. We have our dark stained floors and right off our bedroom, we enter into this passage with our closet additional storage space and it leads us into our ensuite. We have granite countertops on our vanity, this lovely mirror, very nice recessed lights and we have our glass enclosure shower stall. So this bungalow, it is very spacious and it is self-contained. Let us head back outside. I want to show you the garden here. So guys, take a look at this space that we have right off our living room. It just let the outside in with all these louver blades that we have here, beautifully designed. So this space, you can utilize this space as a nice little sitting area. It is overlooking our driveway. So we go down these steps and we are in our driveway. We get to enjoy the beautiful view that we have in front of us. You see that we have these really lovely zyza grass right here and it continues all the way around to the entrance of the property. So guys, we have taken a look at this beautiful construction that was built by John Thorpe in 1794. We have looked at the bungalow, which is additional living space. We have taken a look at this beautiful property. Now we're going to be looking at the lots that we have for sale. Let us take a look at them. Let's go. So guys, let's take a look at the lots that we have for sale here at Chippenham Park in Bamboo, Saints and Jamaica. pleasure having you with us today property viewers as we tour this magnificent great house this property is absolutely spectacular if you are interested in this property you may contact the listing agent Karen Otar her contact information
information will be at the end of this video and it will also be in the description box. If you want additional information about this property, you may also check the description box. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next property tour.